Hey guys, it's Amber, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my channel and to a haul video where I did get in a very special warmer um, and I did get permission to share it because it is not my warmer, but I'm excited to open it up for you guys and uh, take a real in real life look at it. And then I also got a bunch of uh, wax bars in as well. So I figured I'd share the wax first and then I'll end with the warmer. So um, I decided to go ahead and <clears throat> stock up on some spring summer scents that I like, that I really enjoy, but not enough to put in my Scentsy Club. Um, so I figured I'd just stock up on a few things. And then I got a couple of the um, new bars and coming soon bars too. Um, so let me just jump into it. Um, you will be seeing a um, Scentsy Club edit. I think I'll probably put this video up first. I've already done that one but I, I think I'll probably put this video up first. So you will be seeing uh, my club edit. So these are the bars that I decided on, uh, like I said, not putting in club, but just getting a couple bars instead <laughs> because I do, I do really like them, but not to where I feel like I need a club to where I would be heartbroken if they didn't come back because I'm trying to be, I'm trying to keep my club manageable. <laughs> so I try to keep my club at, at the maximum 150 and you know that might not seem like very much to some of you and it's totally fine that's the thing you, club is how you want it obviously so if you have a lot more than that then that's okay you do you you know or if you have if you think 150 is a lot then that's fine too you can do less than that too but I, at most, my maximum is what I try to keep it at is 150. Um, so anyway, so that's why I try and make some gambles. I do some hard, um, make some hard choices in what, like I said, what I would be absolutely heartbroken in not getting um, if it didn't come back type of thing. So it, I'm talking about club. Do you know what club is? <laughs> So Sensi Club is our subscription service. Tons of perks is my absolute favorite thing um, in regards to Sensi as a home fragrance addict that gets super attached to certain scents. Sensi Club is the way to go if you're like me and you fall in love with scents. Um, there's a ton of perks. The best perk being the always get my bar perk which allows you to put wax bars. The perk is just for the wax bars. If you put a scent in your Scentsy Club um, and it then it retires for regular purchase, let's say it's a bring back my bar scent or a um, limited time offer scent, or it's just the end of a catalog season and it'll be going away in September, like the switch for us right now. Um, if it's in your club before that happens, Sensi will continue to make it for you forever and ever, amen, until you take it back out of your club. You're never locked into your club um, in that you can't edit it. You can edit it whenever you want. The other perks are um, at $30, you get 10% off. It's cheaper shipping. At $60, you get a half price item, which actually does even include a whiff box. If you want to get a whiff box, and um, that means it's only $17.50 for um, over over $35 worth of products. It's always more than the normal $35 is what you spend normally. Um, let's see, it's completely customizable. You can change it, edit it whenever you want. You can even cancel it any whenever you want. There's no extra fees, no hidden costs. Um, the price is the same as on my website. Actually, like I said, if you're at $30 though, it's cheaper because it's 10% off. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So there's no downside in my opinion. It's the best. I love it. So, and my favorite is that you're always able to get the bars that you love. Oh, and there's bricks too, um, uh, which are is like six times the amount of wax as a bar is um, of our favorite scents. You can always only get those through club. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
So that's enough about club. Highly recommend it. Go subscribe to Sensi Club. Uh, my website's down in the description for you or through your own consultant or if you are a consultant and you haven't subscribed to Sensi Club, go subscribe to Club. <laughs> okay. It's not for everybody also, but for me, I, I don't see any sort of downside to it. Okay. But that's, we're not here to talk about club. We're here to talk about the bars I didn't d decide to put in my club. So first off, sorry, it's been five minutes and I'm just now getting to my, to my haul. Camu Camu. I got a couple bars of Camu Camu. This has been a scent that's been around since I've been buying Scentsy and that was back in 2007. And I loved it back then. I do still love it now. I'm just not as much of a summer, spring, summer fruity girl like I used to be. So although I love the scent, it's not one that I feel like I need the club um, to where if it does go away, I'm going to be, I mean, I'll be sad, but I won't be like heartbroken. So I was like, I'll just get a couple bars and then it'll be good. So this is a tropical fruity scent. There's Camu Camu in it, which is a tropical fruit. I'm not sure. I've never actually seen or tasted one. Um, I can't remember what the other notes are, but other it's a tropical fruit scent. It's really good. Obviously, it's been around since 2007, but they have been cutting the old school scents recently. So there's no guarantee that this will come back in the spring and summer. So if this is a scent that you do love, and would be heartbroken about, put it in a club. Okay, so that's those. Um, I got one bar of Mountain Sunset. I already have a couple bars of this already. I do really like this. This was brand new this season. Um, <clears throat> but I was like, well, I feel like this is one that uh, I know a ton of my customers love the scent and it was one that got a lot of talk. So I feel like it will be back next season because I did consider clubbing this one, but I feel it'll be back next season. So I just got one more bar. I got a bar of sparkling yellow. I really like this one. I do feel like this one will be back too. I feel like it got a lot of good, <clears throat> a good buzz about it. And it's really nice. I, this almost replaces Squeeze the Day for me in regards to my favorite lemon scent. Almost, but not quite. It's, it's really nice. So this was from the Chase Rainbows collection. They came out last year and then they put it in the catalog um, as sparkling yellow. So I got one of those. Another one I got, Rainbow Red. This was also part of the Chase Rainbows collection. It was just called Red then. This one was a surprise for me because I normally don't like watermelon <clears throat> in home fragrance, but it's per the perfect balance of strawberry, cherry, and watermelon. All those blended together make a really nice scent. It's, it's very nice. I like it. Um, and like I said, a surprise to me because normally I don't like watermelon. So in home fragrance anyway, I do love eating watermelon, just not really smelling it in my home. Okay, next I got a couple bars of Mango Matcha. This was another one that's brand new this season. This is the mango, out of all our mango scents, this is the one that I prefer. Um, I like it much more than Go Go Mango for sure. It's really nice. I do really like it. Oh, so I do feel like this one might be back next season two, um, but I have a couple bars in case it doesn't. Raspberry Hibiscus Tea, this is very nice as well. It is raspberry um, and tea. It's bright and very nice. And then I got two of pink rhubarb sugar. I did club this last year, I think. And I decided just to stock up this year. I do really like this one a lot. I don't know. I'm taking it, like I said, I'm trying to be picky and I'm taking a chance on it. I feel like it'll be back. We'll see. We'll see if I end up chat about it or not. So there's those. 
And then I also got in the Disney Frightfully Delightful Scents. Look how cute that is. So at Disneyland, um, if you recognize this at Disneyland, they have a huge pumpkin, Jack Lantern, Mickey, um, on Main Street as you first walk into Main Street uh, during uh, the Halloween season. And on one side is the smiley face, and then on the other side, Mickey is blinking, he, or winking. So uh, if you guys watch Justin Scard, he kind of started the name. Um, I'm a huge Disney fanatic, Disneyland specifically, and old school Disney movies. Um, so I watch a lot of Disney vloggers. Justin Scard is my favorite or one of my favorites. Uh, he's one of the originals that started Disney vlogging. Uh, he, call, he calls the pumpkin uh, Winky Blinky uh, Mickey. So anyway, so whenever I see this, that's what I think, Winky Blinky Mickey. Um, and uh, just a little sneak peek, we are getting a warmer. <laughs> We're getting warmer. I, I about flipped my lid at SFR when they showed it, seriously. I love it. I am getting it. Obviously, I've wanted like a warmer like this for a long time. So I'm so excited. Um, so stay tuned for that for sure. But they allowed us as consultants were, uh, sometimes they have, um, early release of scents and stuff for consultants to try out, to send samples, that sort of thing. So I was able to get this early, but this will release on September 1st, along with the fall winter catalog and the harvest collection. In the harvest collection is the warmer, so. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the notes are golden pumpkin, if I remember right, golden pumpkin, peach, and brown sugar, and there might have been one more note. As you know, I always forget to bring my iPad or whatever to look at for notes, but I'm pretty sure at least that's some of the notes. There might be one other, but for the most part, that's it. So let's smell it. Ooh, yeah, brown sugar for sure. Oh yes, the peach. Oh, this is nice. I thought the peach might be kind of odd with the pumpkin, but this is really good on cold. Anyway, hopefully it's really good when it warms. I really like this. This is, this is yummy. This, the pumpkin in it is more of a, like a, like, um, can, like the canned, the same type of pumpkin kind of, um, that's in, I'm trying to think, like, um, dang it, what's the name of that pumpkin scent farm? I'm going to look because I actually have it. I have it in here. Let's see what it is. Um, no, is it in Spice? Farm Stamp Pumpkin. That's what I'm trying to think of. To me, it's the same type of pumpkins, so more of a fresher um, or like a fresh pumpkin puree. I like this. I do really like this. If this smells really good when it's um, warming, I could see myself putting this in Scentsy Club. So it smells really good. Okay, next one. This is available now for regular purchase. Like I said, my website is in the description. The Friends officially licensed friends Scentsy Bar and um I don't know if it has a name other than frame I think I don't know it probably does I don't know but this is supposed to be like um some sort of coffee notes and mixed with coconut and yeah that's what I get I'm not a coffee connoisseur I don't drink coffee um so to me I don't really um, I can't really tell the difference in like one coffee to another, but I can tell you that I do get, um, that coconut in this. And then I would say it's a darker coffee. There's a slight creaminess to it, but it is 
a more of like a coffee bean. It's like a dark, um, a tiny bit of bitterness, not to where it's kind of off-putting. Um, but I do get a slight bitter note to it. It's, it's good for, like I said, I don't drink coffee. I do enjoy coffee scent every once in a while. Um, very rarely, but I do, I will use this bar, but, um, yeah. So the friends bar, whatever it's officially called, I don't remember. Okay. Now on to what everyone's been waiting for. The friends warmer. So this is called um, Friends Central Perk Scentsy Warmer. And actually that might be what the bar is too, Central Perk. Like I said, sorry, I forgot to actually look before I started filming. So let actually, let's look at the box first because look how cute this is. Our um, licensed collection boxes are always so cute. So we have the couch, we have the sign, we have a taxi cab, we have Phoebe's guitar, we have the picture frame that's around Monica and Rachel's um, door and coffee beans. So very cute. And then on the side, we have the couch. So let's open it up and take a look. So this is still available as I am filming this video, which I'm super surprised, but that just means that Sensi really stocked up on this warmer which is good. So central perk. And then let's open it up and see. Okay. So cute. We have the sign. So I'll show you where this goes once I get it all open. And this is an element warmer and it is actually a 14 watt element warmer which means it will perform beautifully. Um, it'll throw the wax really well because most of the element warmers are like usually 12 at max. It's usually eight to 12. So the fact that this is a 14 watt, it's, it's going to perform really well. So here's the dish. So it is an element warmer, which means it's a hot plate, but this one does have a dish that goes in it. Some element warmers are just with the element and you can't take out any sort of dish or anything, but this one thankfully does have a dish, which is how I prefer it. Okay, so let's take out the actual warmer part. So cute. So were you a fan of, or are you a fan of Friends? Did you watch it? So when it first came out, I was in college or just graduating high school um, and going into college. So I watched it faithfully all the time. It was so, it was so funny. It's still so funny. I actually, before this was even announced, had just started rewatching Friends. So it came at the right time, honestly. <laughs> So here you go. Here it is. As you can see, there's the hot plate right inside. And then if you look closely, all their names, all the friends' names are stitched into the wreck. So we have Monica, we have Joey, we have Rachel, we have Ross, we have, what was next, Phoebe and Chandler right there. So I think that's such a cute little touch. So let me put the sign in real quick. So the sign will go in the back. If I can get this, it should fit super easy. So the sign goes this direction and it fits just into the slot. Yep, super easy like that. So cute. And then, and then the wider, the wider cushion part goes in the front as well. So this is what it looks like. And I'll try and turn it on. I don't know how, how well it'll show up because it is pretty bright in here, but I will still turn it on. When you turn on the warmer, the sign lights up and it's so cute. So let me try and show you guys that. Um, so if you did watch Friends, who was your favorite? So I always loved, 
I mean, Ross and Rachel, of course, you were always rooting for them to get together, but they weren't my favorite couple. I actually loved Monica and Chandler. And actually, even from the beginning, I kind of hoped that they would be the ones to get together, and they were. So, spoilers if you've never seen Friends, but I think it's been enough time to where, you know, I don't really have to say spoilers. But, oh, you guys. Hopefully you can see this. So, like I said, it's kind of bright, but when you turn on the warmer, the sign lights up. Look at how cute that is. It's so cute. I love it. Love it so much. So cute. So, um, yeah, so this is still available. It retails for $80. It is officially licensed, which means it is a collector's edition. Um, so there it is off. So if you are a fan of Friends, if you have a lover of Friends, and this would be a perfect gift for them because it's amazing. Even, see, I have warmers that I just display that I don't even put wax in. If you have a lover of Friends and they don't even use home fragrance, you can still give this to them because it's just adorable. And it's just beautiful to sit out um, on display, like my, um, my Alice in Wonderland warmer, my new Disney hundredths warmer, my Harry Potter, um, Hogwarts warmer, all those are on my bookshelf. I don't put any sort of wax in them. They're just on display because I love them. So I have warmers that I do that too. So FYI, that's all I'm saying is you don't have to put wax in this. You can just have it on display. So there you go, you guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my rambly video about club and wax and all the good stuff. So please like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section, obviously. I hope you have a wonderful day and until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.